right, guys, let's talk about this. What's up, guys, and welcome back to my channel where I talk and do everything pinball. So if that sounds interesting to you, then hit that subscribe button down below. Now, as most of you are aware, I did travel down to Deep Root in San Antonio, Texas this past weekend to get to go inside and legitimately be close as possible to what you would kind of parallel to the Willy Wonka movie where uh, six individuals get to go inside and see what has been going on in this factory this time and you get to see all inside and all the goodies. That was pretty much what the whole thing was. Now, let me preface all about what I'm about to say with I can only speak to you and tell anyone what is public knowledge. I have got a five-page NDA right here, legally bound documentation of what I can and cannot discuss. So please understand it's not a matter of like the people that went are shilling and they're trying to cover for them or anything like that. It's a matter of what we are legally binding to only be able to say. And in a nutshell, all we can say is what is public knowledge. So understand that whatever I'm about to say and disclose to you is strictly by what is public knowledge. And for those of you that follow me and watch my videos and know how I am towards machines, then you will have an even better understanding to why this decision was made. So as of, I don't know what time, like two hours ago, uh, Deep Root updates their website to this. So it says, Deep Root Pinball has spent years redesigning the pinball machine from the ground up and countless novel approaches. On this past Saturday, we had hoped to host a launch event with six well-known pinball personalities. Due to technical issues, lots of feedback from our guests, it ended up being more of a beta event. We are grateful and thankful to Lauren, Carrie, Colin, Jeff, Chris, and Crystal for their invaluable feedback and involvement in refining our platform to be the best it can be. The result is the realization that we are not as ready for launch as we had hoped. We are already working hard to fix the technical issues and implement our guests' feedback. So the only right decision today is to postpone the public release of our platform and our first game, Raza. We hope that you agree that releasing a well-engineered and fun-to-play Raza is in everyone's best interest. We hope to update you during this process. We remain deeply committed to delivering the highest quality of gameplay and innovation to our players. We thank you for your continued trust and patience. The team at Deep Root Pinball. So that is the official press release. Now, there's actually a good amount of information here, guys, that you can put your own puzzle pieces together to get at least a better idea of why they are postponing and making this decision. And here's the thing, guys. No shills or anything. You know me well enough that I'm going to speak to you honestly on my opinions and feelings about something that I have no reason to tell you otherwise. The only thing I can do is not tell you certain things because of a legal binding contract. So here it is. In this sentence, it says, due to technical issues and lots of feedback from our guests. That should give you a lot of information right there. So in this sentence, it shall, it tells you right there due to technical issues. So obviously issues occurred during our stay and things didn't go as planned and they got feedback from myself and from others in the group now i wish i could show you my email that i did send that had a bunch of information on there but all that information that's on there is definitely not going to be able to be shown to you guys but Understand that 
I fully back this decision. This was a great call on Robert's part. I would much rather them postpone, delay, whatever term you want to use, make the changes needed, and then if need to be, bring us down again and <laughs> try not to make it such a big deal that we're being brought in if, if need to be. So that way we're not trying to get expectations and all the hopes risen up, you know. But I would be more than happy to come in and give more feedback. So this is great. I know a lot of you are disappointed because you want Deep Root to succeed. And when I say succeed, be a, a competitor in this in this field to make other manufacturers begin to draw in more innovation to their machines. I get it. I'm there with you. I want them to succeed as well. And I think, especially after what I've seen, they are capable of doing it. The things I saw, I see what they're working towards and they have the potential. It's there. They just need more time. Something that was unexpected to me and like I said, I did send them my concerns. Fully listed, good and bad. And what I'm really appreciating and I'm like, thank goodness, is that they they made this decision. They could have easily just disregarded everything that we said and continued down the path of launching this game and showing you guys everything. They could have done that easily. But I praise them for having to take all the flack they're getting as of right now and will continually get. I praise them for making the decision to take this flack by delaying instead of launching and in my opinion, it would have been worse. I mean, without a doubt, it's definitely, ugh, it's killing me because I want to be able to just tell you guys about everything they're working on. I would love to, or at least give you a lot more information about what was hopefully going to be revealed today. But now I can't. And, ugh, man. Because like I said, a lot of you are going to be ripping on them and throwing flack their direction and it's going to be negative, negative, negative. But I'm telling you, there are things that we saw that I'm like, okay, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm seeing this go in this direction. This is going to be really good. They just need more time to get it better. So what I can say is that be patient. Yes, Deep Root is going to be catching a lot of flack from a lot of you out there. But the plus thing, guys, and you can't really be mad at them. Only thing you can be mad about is that they have possibly built up your expectations and hyped themselves up and still have not, you know, given us anything. But the major plus is that they also have not taken anything. You can't be mad too much about that. They've got their money, they're doing their thing, they're innovating, they're creating, they're trying to improve this hobby. They just need more time. So let's review in a nutshell. We came this weekend, they showed us a lot of stuff. I mean, we're talking like no foreplay, like brought us in there and revealed a lot of things to us that I was not even expecting. Saw a lot of cool things and innovation is definitely there. They, need, they just need more time to make it better. And uh, as you can tell from the public knowledge that's been posted on their website, there were technical issues. Thing did not go, things did not go as planned as they wanted it to. And they got a lot of feedback from the six of us about our experiences and thoughts about what we were shown. And the positive note is that they are taking that feedback and they're listening, guys. That's a good thing. Like I said, they could have easily just been like, what do you guys know? We're going to go with it. This is, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. But they're listening. So I applaud them for that as well. It was one of those things where I, I sent my email in and I was like, 
I'm hoping that they listen. I was crossing my fingers that this would get delayed. And I'm glad that they're doing it. So any way you look at it, guys, I'm completely on board with them delaying or postponing their launch. Because I feel if they get these technical issues fixed, then yes, they are going to be bringing new things into pinball, guys. I, th I think that's really all I'm going to say in this video. And, and like I've already stated, there's very limited things that I can tell you people only with public knowledge. So according to their letter that it revealed to the public, I can merely just give you that with what I've already said. And that doesn't give you any more information than what they've stated. But like I said, when it comes to feedback that they've gotten from everybody here that they state, if you know me well enough and how I feel about machines and hardware and stuff like that, that should give you a better idea of what comments I could have stated. So everyone be patient. You can feel the way you feel. You can hate on him if you want to. That's he. I'm sure Robert's expecting it. I'm sure it's it's it's, it's blowing up. So without a doubt, he's he's going to be taking a lot of heat. It's not it's not a happy day for anybody at Deep Root, guys. I don't think they're all just sitting around right now, just smiling and having a good day. I don't think anybody there is happy about this decision. I mean. Some other things I could tell you that I don't see being an issue is talking to Steve Bowden about Raza and his rules that he has in mind. He was so excited to finally be able to talk about all the things that he's been working on. He, he's been holding it in for this long, and so he was just finally excited to be able to go back and forth with other fellow pinball people about all the things that he's wanting to do and when the game's going to do this and you're going to be able to do that. It was like pulling a string on a toy and just letting it go in the Energizer Bunny. He was so excited to show us and tell us what this game's going to have in it when it comes to the rules and stuff like that, as well as the other upcoming games that he's working on when it comes to rules. He's super passionate and excited about what he has in store for all of us out there. So I know it's definitely a sad day for him as well that once again, he has to refrain and hold back things that he wants to tell everybody. All right. I think that's enough. Um, I'm hoping that all this information is safe and nothing negative comes back towards me, but knowing my life and how things are going, who knows? We'll find out. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you like what you've seen here, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe button down below. Until next time, guys, peace out. <laughs>